Yo, what's going on guys? It's Revive here. Hopefully you enjoyed that little clip right there. Um, as you can tell, we're going to be talking about the Satchel Charge, the C4, whatever you want to call it in the Call of Duty World War II because I made a video about it saying how it's just crap, dude. This thing sucks, but they released a basic training with the Resistance DLC called Saboteur. Um, and this basically kind of shortens the fuse of the uh, explosives, except for the S-Mine. It doesn't work on that, so that's, for me, that's great news. I hate the S-Mines. I think they're OP. They need to be nerfed or taken down. I hate them. Uh, but, yeah, guys, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, so let's get right into the video, guys. So, yeah, I kind of explained what the Saboteur thing does, and uh, just so you know, it doesn't only work on C4s. It works on all explosives, so your, you know, regular grenades, your sticky grenades, all that stuff, they'll have a shorter fuse. And I, I was messing around with the uh, Semtex, or the stickies, in this game and it does it works now there is a drawback to using it with regular grenades you can't throw it as far because since the fuse is shorter if you try to throw it long range it'll probably just blow up in midair so it, it, it if you're gonna use it with uh grenades just kind of time it right guys uh that's my tip on that because if you just throw it if you try to chunk it across the map it'll blow up in midair um so yeah but in this class setup, I am running Expeditionary. Uh, I am running the Pepeche class, the, the God class, uh, with Grip and uh, Extended Mag. I am running Saboteur and Satchel Charges and a Machine Pistol, but I rarely use it. And really in this game, I was just trying to mostly use C4 as much as I could. Um, just kind of show the, uh, the difference because there is a huge difference when using Saboteur. Um, it, it's pretty big. It, it's a nice, it's a nice addition that I think they added. Because if you remember without it, I made a video on it and you can kind of see the difference. You'll, you'll be able to see the difference a whole bunch if you see the video that I posted before. And I will leave a link down in the description below so you can check that out. Uh, but whenever you would throw the, the satchel charge, it would pretty much take a whole second, almost two seconds, just to be able to blow it up. And, and you couldn't even blow it up in midair. So I always made the point of just imagine a whole bunch of people on the B flag. Uh, on domination, you th you chunk the C4. In older cards, you could just spam it while it's in the air, get all those kills, look good, get a whole bunch of XP. In this game, you would have to wait for it to actually hit the ground, wait a second, and then blow it up. You know, by that time, they would probably moved or you would only got one kill. With Saboteur, you kind of eliminate that. You can now blow the C4 up in the middle of the air, which is huge for me. You're going to see in this little part right here, I think it's this little clip, um, where I just turn on some dudes, uh, throw some C4. I'm not sure if it's in this one or later on, but you'll see the difference. Yeah, like right there. You can now blow it up in the middle of the air, which I think is awesome. I, I, I love that. I know a lot of people hate the whole, you know, C4 spamming, the whatever. But come on, guys, that's what Call of Duty is about, man. If you play the OG Call of Duties, it's all about C4 and when you can and time it right. So, uh, you know, I, Saboteur works. I'm going to be honest. It works. Now, there's still a delay time if you let it hit the ground. There's still a, it's not as much. It's probably milliseconds instead of a whole second. So I think that's very good. Uh, but... For the most part, I'm actually really happy with Saboteur. Now, would I run it and, you know, get rid of, you know, my main basic trainings like Hustle, Prime, you know, Forage, all those stuff? Not really, because I would like to have more, you know, of a fast reload than, you know, being able to blow up a Satchel Charge in the middle of the air. But I'm not going to lie, I will run Saboteur whenever I feel like using some C4. Or if I'm playing Domination, I'm definitely going to be running Saboteur and some Satchel Charges so I can get some kills because it is really fun using them, at least now with this basic training. So um, definitely, guys, give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, now, the, I really recommend this class setup. Um, like I said, it's the Expeditionary because I, I'm using it because I can throw it farther. So just think about this. You can throw it farther. You can blow it up in midair. Uh, you throw it faster, and you also resupply when you go over dead bodies. So that's just kind of, it, it's it's bringing back these awesome Black Black Ops 2 memories. And look at that big old fail right there. Man, dude, it got stuck on the wall. That's, I'm, I feel stupid by that. But it's bringing back those Black Ops 2 memories where you just run Scavenger, and you run those two C4s, and you just re, you resupply them, and you just keep chunking them. And uh, I love that. I love that, man. So um, definitely, guys. You Saboteur, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. I personally like it. I don't think it's too overpowered. I know some of you might think it's overpowered. Um, but honestly, it's, I don't know. If you really want to know a counter to this, just run Hunker or the Armored Division. Um, if you really hate C4s, I think those two would really help. So, I am I mean, there's a counter to everything in this game, which, which I really like. But, uh, yeah, so Saboteur, thumbs up. I really like it. It makes C4s fun. Satchel Charges are awesome now. 
Um, and yeah, so definitely guys, give it a shot. Let me know what you think about these. If you've used them, do you like them? Do you hate them? What do you think about Satchel Charges or C-Force as a whole coming back into Call of Duty? Do you like it? Do you hate it? You know, let me know down in the comments below. Let's all talk about it, guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you are new to the channel, subscribe if you aren't already, guys. I'll post a video every other day. It'll help my schedule. So uh, just, you know, you can come back every other day to check out those videos. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video, guys. Enemy recon aircraft observed. Thank you.